hi there and welcome or welcome back so today i'm going to do a flip through of a, a new collaboration kit between myself tati treasures and nanine who is collage type so this is a full kit um there's no add-on as such uh to it it i think it's 30 pages um I've got the landscape version and Nanine's got the portrait uh, version. So let's um, have a flip through. Um, the inspiration came, I, I love watching um, urban explorers, especially crumbled down buildings where the the wildlife is is just taken taken over um and that was kind of the inspiration i wanted the um the structures the 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 buildings kind of not seen just little elements of them um still still here and then you know the the flowers um coming coming through so um this is a collage page um it's collaged by uh, me it's got all vintage different papers and then there's uh william morris around the side a bit here and then we've got the window and the botanical here this is uh obviously a, f a full page of uh the botanicals and then there's some script and things running through this is um, a bit like a collage um, sheet. So we've got a door here, a window, we've got a chandelier here, and then we've got some botanicals and um, I forget what they're called. Freezers, are they? Um, it, it's a very tea stainy um, type of kit, lots of splashing, um, a bit cementy kind of uh looking so here's one with just the the door and the chandelier there's two windows i don't know how well you'll be able to see um the markings in in the paper here's a door Okay, I've got some script running through through the backgrounds. Um, this is kind of a, a wally appearance here, and then we've got the freeze, and um, we've got some invoicey type things as well in in the background. Got a, another door with some lovely uh, markings on it. There's a key poking out here. Some more windows and, and walls. This is a, a collage uh, type page. So we've got the music, we've got different tags, we've got the freeze, and then different, I was going to say umbrellas, <laughs> windows. Then we've got some uh, William Morris, we've got some beautiful greens, another William Morris in the browns, in the green, and this is all different uh, script with the freeze round and then this aging um, down here. Got music sheet here with a window in the background. This is, you know, like a backing um, sheet. There's lots going <coughs> going off on it, though. We've got um, some grids here, and then we've got got another like backing uh, one. So they're the uh, pages, and like I say, it it's just one one kit. So you get the pages the embellishments and the ephemera. Now, Nanine's sheets in her kit are the same as mine. 
apart from that one's uh, different apart from their portrait so it says exactly the same but portrait some of them obviously that one it wouldn't matter which kind of way you did orientate it but they've still been orientated that they are um, portrait look at that with the full full door in it I love that So if you're doing something tall, this one's a aligned one. That's got the the grids in, and then a couple of back end. That's a script one, and then the music one. Okay, so the papers are very very similar. So let's go go back to, to my kit. So I've got a, a collection of envelopes. They're all large size and there's six of them. So if you wanted them smaller, you know, try two to a page, try four to a page. And then you've got a whole collection of uh, different size envelopes. And all the images on there are landscape so if you're doing um well even in in journals um i find you know the majority of the time you're using an envelope um portrait and if they've got an image on they're often landscape so i wanted all the images um that way that way up so if you're sewing them into your journal they're the right way if you um you know putting them at the side as a tuck um they're the right way so that's one of them with windows and music they've also been done that this back is really high if you wanted to i'm using using them more as as flips and i will cut down somewhere for my opening so I wanted this pretty high so you didn't have that problem of having to cover that part up let me let me get an envelope to to explain so you know a lot of envelopes are like that and if we're using them that way we've got this part to cover up um so this goes right up there so if you was using it as a proper envelope you would just take a little bit down or maybe uh, put a put a thumb notch in but I thought these would be perfect um, for, for flip outs and then you could either um, open the side so you would open there okay so that's the first one the second one the third one the fourth one the fifth one it's all got different um tops we've left them quite fancy as well in case you know if you want it over the page then you'd got have a fancy edge over this side if you wanted to use it as as a tuck or or a decorative uh piece so that's that one and that one okay i've also done them uh two to a page these aren't in the kit at two to a page i've just done those to to show you um the the size difference so if you're doing you know an envelope journal or envelopes at the front of a file folder or something you've got lots of different combinations so that's my ephemera um, and then we've got some labels got lovely uh, green around them we've done them quite small uh, this time because we normally do gigantic ones so that's that one 
I've got some beautiful tickets, some stamps and some one inch uh, circles or decorating. I've got a whole page of doors in all different uh, sizes page of windows in all different sizes Ooh, that's not I've got a page of the the freezers I hope that's the right word and then I've done them uh, two to a page as well so that's my uh, embellishment so like I say all together it is uh, 30 pages I need to stop getting it uh, cut out. Let me just put that to the side. And then this is Nanine's part. So we've got some scrolls which can be used that way or that way. And you can obviously, they can be used as journal spots or you can, you know, put your title in. Then we've got some, with some lovely uh, quotes look deep into nature and then you will understand everything leave the road and take the trails by discovering nature you discover yourself where there is life there is hope and that's kind of the the theme of of the kit um so as much as the the buildings of of aged and crumbled there's still, you know, that that life there uh, through those plants coming through. And we've got some words, rainbows on roses. <laughs> I love that one. Obviously, it's um, Sound of Music. Tranquility, winds whispering, days gone by, sunshine rains, flora, bloom, florals, wonder, quiet follow the path summer days serene so we've got lots of new words in this kit which we've not you know <coughs> used before we've got some um these can be used as ephemera or as journal cards they're very close together so you could keep them together make them into a little notebook or you know an opening journal card also, you know, if you want them tinier, do them two to a page. I've printed all my stuff on cream uh, card and the actual kit pages I've printed on um, a marbled, looks very tea stainy um, kind of presentation paper. And that's what I print my kits on. Um, for the print and post service I offer in my shop as well. So at last we've got some mason jars. Um, I've been wanting some of these for ages. So we've got some plain ones so you can uh, play with them and then we've got some uh, with the botanicals in them. We've got a fun page here. We've either got three tags or two you know a double one or a triple one make a long thin uh notebook got some triangle uh pockets here and then some lovely labels just to fill that that space up okay that's that one then we've got a circles which um can be used for circle pockets so you just cut one of the bigger circles down lay it there and then the smaller ones are your uh, journal cards. I've really enjoyed um, these when we've put these in the kits. Then we've got some slanted pockets, some plain ones and then a nice uh, decorated one. So four of those, two really tall ones. Um, these the thought behind them was, you know, the, the journal cards, but obviously you can do do with what, what you want and the same um, with these. So either journal cards or some kind of flip out or flip up. I think they're going to be really fun, fun pieces to play with. Just wanted to show you a couple of them, um, you know, two to a page. 
there's the ephemera two to a page and there's the words so they are the um full kits and i just wanted to show you um a kit that we've already got in the shop um which i've not told you the name have i it's vintage botanical architecture and we do have the vintage botanical um in the shop already it's been in uh about about a month so we've both got journal pages um in in our shops mine are more the the blues and and the yellows uh and whites and greens and nanine's got more pinks um in hers i have got you know the odd uh pink so just journal pages and if you print them out two to a page because there's no ephemera uh, with this it's just uh, journal pages i think there's 24 um sheets but if you do them two to a page you know you can cut these out stick them back to the front and you've got a nice uh journal card um there so that's that kit and obviously it works with uh the new kit and we've got touches of um those botanicals um in in here so all the botanical images in these kits are from um these papers so that's that and there's also uh, a fussy cut um kit as well which has been in the shop about a month so we've got them at full size uh, we've called it fussy cuts but i've been ripping uh, around mine some of them are, are easier to fussy cut than than others obviously you don't even have to cut them out you could use these pages um for some of them so i think there's about 26 pages um there's them at four uh to a page or three And then we've done them um, smaller. And again, we've both got different um, sets in our shop. There is some extras that I've printed off. And then there's two pages of them, uh, really small and they look fabulous on on vellum okay so that that is that um like i say the vintage botanical fussy cuts and um journal kits are already in the shops and the vintage botanical architecture will be in the shop tomorrow so we have got um, a collaboration which will be going on through July and we've got the lovely Rita Jensen back with us after a break um, we've got Brenda Lindstam who's been away for about a year and she's just um, just come back so thought it would be nice if, if Brenda joined us. We've got Debbie Harper again. We've got uh, myself. We've got Terra um, from Terra Taints. We've got Tommy. Um, oh, I forgot what our channel's name is. And we've got Denise again. So all their information will be in the description. I, I just can't remember things um, offhand. So hopefully you'll enjoy uh, what, what the ladies make. And um, yeah, thank you so much to everybody that has uh, supported myself and uh, Nanine's new venture. It's, um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. 
and um, yeah it's just an, another side of, of, of creating uh, of creativity I should say right so I shall be cutting these out now <laughs> like mad um, because in a few days um, the collaboration starts and <laughs> And I've not made made a start and I've got lots of cutting uh, to do. So thank you very much. And um, yeah, I will see you. Well, I'll see you later. I've um, ordered some beautiful um, lace and I just wanted to, well, show it off really. <laughs> um, and I thought, why I've got it all on my desk, I can put it into piles and, and get it uh, put, put away because it's just hanging about at the moment. So... Bye for now. See you later. Bye.